Y'all already know what it is. I be yelling y'all because I be so excited sometimes because one person. Y'all already know what it is. Dorinda Clark Cole, he brought me, will forever be my jam. That's my jammy jam. That is the one that does me. He brought me me so many different things in season to season. To the right, go on, come on. midnight and a dive, bro. Running in my feet, bro. Clapping in my hands, bro. Joy in my soul, bro. Just can't control. Come on, our conclusion. It ain't out of here, it really. <laughs> like, what? Like, it just. So y'all know I had to, y'all know I had to get into this rehearsal. This rehearsal from, I think, when she did the concert, like, last year, year before, whenever it was. Y'all know how to get into the rehearsal. So let's get into Dorinda Clark Cole, Dr. Dorinda Clark Cole, the one fourth or fifth, depending upon what you consider, of the legendary Clark sister singing He Brought Me signature song at the rehearsal. Let's do it. <laughs> Y'all heard that, y'all heard that run. So the love, like the love, y'all heard that. So the love, like the red the red He bought you from where? The red Because if anybody knows Dorinda, you know Dorinda can go. Dorinda can go. Karen can go, but Dorinda will go. <laughs> Dorinda will go. On and on and on and on and on. And on until she gets tired. To the make lap, midnight in the night. You know, running at my feet. Like, and just the continuation. And that's one thing I love and appreciate about the Clark sisters too, even when it comes to reprises. You know, a reprise, like I like to say sometimes. It's just like they know how to keep that thing going. You know, like what? It's like you thought the song was over. You know, Timmy don't like that, bro. Midnight in the day, bro. Running in my feet, bro. Clapping in my hands. Joy in my soul. You know, it's just, just can't control. Come to this conclusion. Anybody ever get a really sad? You know, it's like, what? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> like Dorinda. I can't even do it like Dorinda, and I'm not supposed to. I'll be. <laughs> you can do some things, but some things just leave that to Dorinda. But Dorinda B, her endurance and her stamina is crazy. Can't nobody work a fast song like Dorinda. Can't nobody sing a song I think as long as Dorinda can. Because Dorinda will keep going and going and going and going and going and going and going. And between like the church and jazz and like the, between the scats and the ad libs and the belts, and just it's just it's just the whole situation. It's just the whole situation. And again, like these trumpet-like inflections, this brass thing that she got on with her phrasing and the way she, you know, does these riffs, 
and these run it's so good to my soul it's so good to my soul and i just love that it doesn't impede the music but it just enhances it like that whole th that whole ooh she did that i talked about it's just like it's so good it's so rich it's so rich to my soul and i i just i love hearing that from her i love that it's so good it's so good because you could do an open vowel that's the Lord. It's like, okay, that's the Lord. That's the Lord. It's like, what? Lord. It's like, it's, the, it's, it's not the same. It's not the same. Like, doing a regular open vowel. It's the Lord. No. Lord. Lord. Like, in the closing midway. And even, I mean, it sounds better. The second one sounds better because I'm doing I'm not Dorinda. But like, you know, that soprano e that, 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 that belt up there. Let the love, 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 let the love. And the phrasing and the shaping, the articulation all together, it's like a, it's just like, I have my ears. It's music to my ears. Say Auntie Dodo, sing so much, sing so much. But he brought me is one of my favorite songs. It is, it's, it really has just, it just speaks to like God bring you through so many situations from the fire to the pandemic to the, this one. And what I appreciate about he brought me too is like her creativity knows no bounds. Like Dorinda has remixed that song so many different ways. I think to just whatever is applicable at a life standpoint, you know, you know, from the fire to recession to the pandemic, you know, she was like, when she was sing singing now, you know, she'll talk about like, I survived the pandemic. And then even like, you know, uh, thank God I'm covered by his blood. If it had not been from the long, I don't know how many this blood. If he brought me this blood, can take me out of, you know, you know, it's like, what? Listen, I have been in the fire. I have been through the fire. It's like, what? Y'all, I got a new one for you. Listen, you see, I have been in that pandemic, isolated in quarantine. Thank God I'm covered, I'm covered, I'm covered, covered y'all from COVID-19. Your scatterizationals be eating down. I love when you just repeat something over and over. Oh, like when you say, goodness, I'm covered, I'm covered, I'm covered, I'm covered, I'm covered. I said, if it had not been from the Lord, I don't know how I made it this far. Yeah. Dorinda, like, I love that. Like, just continually remixing the song and making it more relatable and more applicable even now when you sing it, giving it like a fresh, a fresh take again. Cause we still gonna drive the song, we still gonna sing, we still gonna celebrate, we still gonna praise the Lord. But I just love that about Dorinda. It's so good because God literally will tear, carry you and take you from one place to the next and from season to season. And you just should celebrate like what the Lord is doing, how he carried you, you know, from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, from year to year, from month to month, from week to week, from day to day. It's just a beautiful thing and it's worth rejoicing and celebrating in. So I just love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite. I think I told y'all before um, when I did my favorite DCC videos. I'm still here. He caught me for the rest of my life. I got a reason. And it's just like, um, do I want to do nobody but God or do I want to do nobody but God or do I want to do so many times? Um, ah. But you know, it's just, it's just up there with my favorite Dorinda Clark Cole songs. Like I have a few that I love to listen to, you know, like that one. Um, I've got a reason for the rest of my life so many times. You know, Back to You is a good one. All I wanna do dun, 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 is giving back to you. You know, hey, hey. It's like the render just be going and i love it so much love it so much it's just up there she just her catalog is so good to me it's so good so good so good so good but i digress i hope y'all enjoyed this reaction if you have another video you want to react to comment below i'll get to it as soon as i can it could be a dorinda video it could be something all together separately or different um i'm actually thinking about making a twinkie video 
I made an, a compilation of all their vocal battles throughout the years. I'm thinking about doing one for Twinkie because I think Twinkie's performances just need to be, we need to see. Like there's so many moments, I think from just different musics, not even different music, from different performances and even audio clips where like Twinkie people, the people don't know. The people don't know that Twinkie is, is, is a national treasure. Aretha was a national treasure. Twinkie is a national treasure all by herself. All by herself. So I, I, I'm gonna make something soon to just showcase that. I've seen some I've seen some compilations, but I, I feel like I gotta do one myself. Like it's just she's just ridiculous and people need to know. People really need to they really need to know. You really need to comprehend and understand why. Like it's just it's just but that's a whole topic for another day, another discussion. As I always like to say, y'all don't get bitter because life does get better, but Jesus life gets better. And as the renter said, he'll bring you out. He'll bring you through. Sometimes we try to avoid situations and circumstances that the Lord has allowed us to enter in. Um because we don't want to go through it. We, wanna, we don't want to experience the pain, the suffering. But, you know, to suffer with him is to reign with him. And if you go through that resistance training, if you go through that friction, if you go through sometimes those trials and those tribulations, what you'll find out is, is that the Lord is strengthening you, that the Lord is cultivating some stuff for you, that the Lord is pruning you and exposing you, and that the Lord is trying to take some stuff out of you and put some stuff in you at the same time. So it's a beautiful thing. So you may not want to go through it, but I just want you to be comfortable and recognize that sometimes God will lead you into it to bring you through it. He may not bring you out of it right away, but he wants want you just to go through it. You know what I'm saying? He may want to just take you through the storm and not just pull you out of a storm. Because sometimes some of us get into situations and ruts and we try to avoid the very thing that God is trying to use as a catalyst for your life to change completely. So, you know, instead of just deterring it, instead of trying to resist it, instead of trying to combat him, just embrace it and let the Lord lead you and guide you through it, whatever that looks like for you. So that's my motivational moment of the day. I'm talking to y'all soon.